Once again, our convoy has successfully cleared the Guadalcanal area after unloading troops and supply on the island. Early on the morning on the 19th, our scout aircraft were launched to scour the Solomon Sea and the area north of Guadalcanal. We know there's a Japanese carrier group to the north of Guadalcanal. That is the prize. At noon, scouts detected multiple Japanese task forces, mostly composed of destroyers operating off of New Guinea. A-20 Havocs and P-38 Lightnings were scrambled. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series playing as the United States. And as you can see, we have A-20s. That's right, the latest version of the Tokyo Express mod has added loads of new aircraft for both the Japanese and the United States. So we will be playing with all of those in this episode, that is for sure. These A-20s have been sent from Port Moresby to attack a small Japanese task force off of New Guinea, consisting of one destroyer and one light cruiser. The Sunderland over here initially spotted them and uh, found their location. There are Sunderlands, PBYs, all sorts of new aircraft. Like I said, we will definitely be going over all of them in the uh, once we get back to the campaign map. Okay, so our A-20s need to swing around. I also want to drop our A-20s down to the deck. Let's get them down to the deck. Hopefully they can skip bomb. They are each carrying one 1,600 pound bomb, I want to say. So they have one just massive bomb. And it's going to completely obliterate this poor little light cruiser. And uh, we'll get some command points out of it. How about that? We're going to bring our Sunderland around and start circling the area to confirm any kills. And look at this dive. That is awesome. I don't know if that is new behavior thanks to the mod, but these dives are much better than uh, how the aircraft would kill altitude off previously. And we can see when they open that bomb bay door, the massive bomb we have strapped <laughs> in there. We also have all these 50 cals, so we should be pretty, pretty efficient at strafing these targets. I may try to strafe this destroyer once our bombs are away. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we get quite a few hits here on the on the light cruiser and we're able to sink it just right off the bat. Alright, A-20s are closing in. Starting to take some heavy flak. Now I gotta say, the models for all the new aircraft look rather good and fit the game really well. Alright. Hopefully no one gets shot down here. Don't want to lose too many of these uh, brand new shiny A-20s. Okay. Bombs away. Bam, two hits. That's what I love to see. All right, more A-20s coming in. One A-20 has been shot down, unfortunately. The cruiser is up in smoke. I mean, that was two hits. We This is probably overkill at this point, but... I wanna make sure uh, we destroy our target. Couple more hits there, beautiful. And I think she is done for. It's like these A-20s dropped their bombs. Someone dropped their bomb rather late, but that's okay. We have lost one A-20. Not bad at all. I'm gonna wait for this destroyer to get a little further away from the light cruiser, and then we can begin strafing it. I have a feeling this, I mean, this light cruiser is already down to three knots, and she is sinking. She is going down. Good work. That's what I love to see. Okay, all of our A-20s. Attack that destroyer. We're going to have our Sunderland circle around. Actually, our Sunderland needs to get out of here. I have to say, it's a rather large target. Uh, and we don't want her getting shot down. So, get out of here. Alright, 20s are going to spiral down and strafe the enemy destroyer. One thing I would love to see in this game eventually is suppressing anti-aircraft guns. Because the A-20 would be very good at that job and the Sunderland oh my gosh leave run run you fat whale <laughs> get out of there uh, we may lose our Sunderland it's drawing a lot of AAA but Ugh, that makes me nervous we'll see A20s are going to begin their dive all the 50s oh gotta love it explosions multiple explosions oh my gosh 
That looked absolutely devastating. And we will do it again, that's for sure. We have two more A20s circling around here. Enemy destroyer is a light. We still have only lost one A20. And our Sunderland's leaving, thank goodness. Continue to strafer. That is fantastic. Like I said, those decks would be just... There wouldn't be very many uh, people still standing <laughs> after after that. All right, everybody. Keep on doing it. Let's finish this thing off. The cruiser is going down, as can be seen. Slowly taking on water. This went much better than anticipated, to be honest. All right, A20s are swinging around. Coming in from the bow this time. Another explosion. All right, get out of here. All these other A20s are moving in. All right, see how this goes. Cause a few more explosions, more fires. The cruiser is now beneath the waves. Poor destroyer. We'll have them all re-engage here in a second. Order these two back around. Destroyer is losing speed. She is down to seven knots. I wonder how she is faring in the report. Let's take a look. Critical damage, moderate flooding. Oh my gosh, look at all those fires that have broken out. Okay, I have found a new strategy for sinking destroyers. It definitely helps that, I mean, there's only one. I think we've knocked out every, you know, main battery at this point. Oh no, her forward battery's still operational. There we go. Got another one coming in here from the side. Another couple. Absolutely devastating. Taking on a lot of water. <laughs> Look at that list of port there. I think the, the forward turret is out of action now. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's keep doing it one more time. One more time, report critical damage, heavy flooding. I think she's gonna go down, but might as well uh, get some more practice in. More explosions. More secondaries going off. Okay. Couple A20s coming in. Oh no, we lost one. Okay, this will be our last strafing run. It's unnecessary at this point, but everyone else is already flying in, so we might as well let them do their attack run. There we go. That's all she wrote. This thing's going down. There's no way. Two ships for two A20s, I will take that trade any day of the week. Let's bring our Sunderland back around so it can kind of spot while our A20s RTB. This thing's already pretty low on the water. It's just going to be a matter of minutes, I think. Report, yeah, critical damage, heavy flooding. Well, let's wait and see. It is now official. This destroyer is going down. She is sinking. So just strafing uh, put her under. That's good to know. 
We're going to have to try that uh, in future engagements. That is for sure. Let's retreat. Guess we got a few command points out of that. Two ships sunk. Seven command points gained. I will take that. Ten aircraft. We lost two. Continue. And here is the current situation. So, everything is looking pretty good. We also have another group of destroyers to the north. A Sunderland has spotted them. Um... I don't really have anything to launch at them at this point. We're going to send our A-20s back home to Port Moresby. Down here, we have three destroyer escorts and five destroyers, and we have P-38 Lightnings with two 1,000-pound bombs and four 500 semi-armor-piercing bombs that are going to attack them. Here at Port Moresby, I can't show you what aircraft we have, but uh, I believe we also have P-39s, which we can uh, launch from Port Moresby, which is pretty cool. All the air bases have different aircraft depending on the region. So down here in Cooktown, we look at the aircraft we have available. We have bow fighters, which is awesome. B-25 Mitchells, B-24 Liberators, and Sunderlands. Um, over here in the New Hebrides, we have P-38 Lightnings, A-20s, B-17s, and PBY Catalinas, which are way out here patrolling the Pacific. We have this Japanese carrier group sighted as well, and Task Force 1 is moving to intercept. This Task Force has quite a lot of firepower behind it, so I think we will be able to take on this group and at least sink the enemy flat top. Down here, we have our tanker, which is heading to the New Hebrides. The week rolled over, so we gained some command points. We also have more fuel and troops and supply at the New Hebrides here. And um, Task Force 3 is moving back due to their damage. I separated two of our destroyers, which are undamaged and have quite a bit of ammunition. And they are just going to patrol around Reynolds Island. And then our convoy is heading back to the New Hebrides as well. We have 75 points available. And I, it would be nice to get a battleship or something. However, I think I need to buy some boring stuff for my future plans. So with the latest version of the Tokyo Express mod... You can build seaplane bases at these smaller islands, like Rental Island, for example. One of the reasons I never built an airfield on Rental Island, despite a lot of people wanting me to, is because, um, well, one, it kind of makes things pretty easy. And But the main reason is, in real life, this island could not support a, a proper airfield. But if we build an airfield here, it will be a seaplane base, which I am all in favor of doing. That sounds awesome and very useful for our purposes, thanks to the new Tokyo Express mod. I have also decided I want to occupy this island and build an airfield here. The fighting on Guadalcanal is taking a bit longer than anticipated, thanks to the Japanese actually landing troops here. Um, I thought we would have the island secured in the next couple of days, but Thanks to them landing, that is no longer the case, so I need to adjust my plans accordingly and take advantage of these islands that are unoccupied and uh, build some stuff over here. Okay, so that is the current plan. Um, these these uh, cargo ships will supplement that plan, and same with this tanker. This tanker is going to take on 100 fuel and then move straight to Rental Island. I will probably buy three tankers next and uh troop and we will merge them with this convoy and they will land on this island okay so that is the current plan now we have our lightnings to deal with let's go ahead and go to tactical and see how things are looking over here start look at that the models look good look at all those bombs strapped underneath our p38s that is fantastic and here is the large uh task force full of japanese destroyers well, we will do a similar thing. All of our P-38s are going to drop down to the deck. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this is a good engagement. Our last one went honestly better than anticipated, if I'm being 100% honest with you. I did not expect it to go that well. But uh, two ships sunk, maybe we can at least get a couple here. We'll see how our bombs land. There are also multiple different bomb loads you can take, of course, with the P-38s and all of the new aircraft. Uh, the Tokyo Express modders just continue to outdo themselves, honestly. And I do appreciate their help with uh, getting this save all fixed up uh, for the series, because initially I, I had some issues with the new aircraft and such uh, with the latest version uh, due to my older save. All right. 
Our P-38s are going to turn in and engage. We're going to engage the flanking ships number three, five, and seven here, and we will see what we can get. I just love seeing these guys skim the surface here. That is so darn cool. These new planes are definitely going to spice up uh, these types of engagements, that's for sure. After, after seeing, you know, Dauntless's dive bomb ships for uh, the past couple of episodes, it's cool to get this sort of variety. Okay, we will follow this group here. It looks like they are going to target this ship. This is a lot of anti-aircraft firepower that's going to be thrown our way as well. I don't think uh, strafing the targets like we were doing with our A-20s is going to be much of an option here. It's probably, probably a bad idea, if we're being honest with ourselves. Okay, closing in fast, going through all of that flak. Come on, need something good. Bombs away. Okay, got one hit. Wow, that destroyer got messed up. Let's see how... Okay, and then another group completely whiffed with their bombs. We lost one lightning. No, oh, there we go. That was actually a solid hit. Okay, not bad at all. All right, one lightning down. Uh, they are getting out of here. Yeah, let's let them leave. I don't think we should come back around and strafe. We have heavily damaged three destroyers. Two of them, I mean, these two look rough. I don't know. Are they going to survive that? Let's see the report. What's the damage like? Critical damage and heavy flooding on one of them. Moderate on another and heavy and critical flooding on another. So that was that was pretty good, actually. I think this one's definitely going to sink. Two destroyers for one lightning. Lightnings are continuing to run and get out of dodge. I'm going to have these lightnings kind of move over here and orbit just so we can spot. And we'll see uh, which destroyers end up going down here. Well, two of the destroyers ended up going down, as you can see here, so I am pretty happy with those results. Another one is still on fire, but I don't think she is actually going to sink if we look at the report. Moderate damage, heavy flooding, I mean, it is possible. We will stick around for just a little bit longer, and we'll see if they can get that flooding under control, but already the two most uh, damaged ships have gone down, so we'll see how this one fares here. Well, it's been a little while here, and it looks like she is getting her flooding under control. If we look at the report, it is now moderate flooding, so we have destroyed two, gained four command points. I am actually pretty happy with that. Let's leave the battle, and yeah, overall, not too shabby at all for one aircraft lost. Okay, these lightnings are going to RTB, and I'm thinking, let's, um, let's send something else their way, shall we? I'm thinking B-24 Liberators. With uh, 12 500 pound bombs, what's their range? 729 nautical miles, oh, easy, yeah. Okay, done. We'll send them up here and uh, find them. That is going to be very interesting for sure. We can also launch, uh, I believe B-25s from Port Moresby, so we will launch those as well. And I wanna keep this uh, carrier situation. Um, Keep a close eye on this because I do think we will be able to force a surface engagement tonight. Alrighty, folks, here we go. B-25s and B-24s in the area getting ready to attack these guys. We're going to have our B-25s hit the deck and turn in. Our B-24s, however, I think our B-24s will hit number... Hmm, I'm not sure exactly who we want to hit here. They're obviously going to level bomb and look at these new models. The B-24s look great. What an underrated aircraft as well. It's great to see it get a little more uh, recognition <laughs> here. We're going to be using these quite a lot. And like I said, we have 12 500-pound bombs, which is just going to be hilarious, I think. All right, B-25s looking good as well, hitting the deck. We have number two, number four, 
What's number six? Yeah, definitely a more modern destroyer. We're going to hit number six then. Because these are the ones that are more dangerous to our surface groups. That's for sure. Actually, I'm going to have our Mitchells kind of orbit this area and wait for the B-24s to uh, kind of do their thing. All right, let's get some time compression going and close in on the target. We're going to hit number six and number one with our B-24s. Okay. These guys are going to hit six, engage. And these guys are going to hit one. Engage. And look at the bomb bay doors open. Look at all those bombs. The amount of detail here is great. Like, actually having the bomb bay doors open on these modded aircraft and seeing all the bombs inside is pretty cool. Honestly, something I I guess I wouldn't expect. So, um, the mod's definitely keeping up with the same level of uh, detail as the base game, which is good to see. Consistency is good. Okay, so far no one's getting shot down. Taking a lot of AAA though. We'll follow this B-24. And we're going to order our Mitchells to kind of turn in now. And we'll see how this goes. They're beginning their evasive maneuvers, but we have to stick to our run. We'll see how uh, level bombing is here. I do wonder, oh, look at all those bombs. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. I see these guys drop their bombs. There they go. Oh, man. Okay, we actually got a hit on a destroyer. A couple of hits there. Let's see if we get any hits on this other one. Looks like a few there. Fantastic. All right, get out of there. Which is number four here. All right, B-25s, I want you to swing around. We're gonna hit number five. And she is kind of all by her lonesome out here. Maybe we can sink her. Oh man, this one is looking rough. This one is looking rough, that's for sure. All right, B-25s, engage. Bomb bay door open. We're just carrying one 2,000 pound bomb. And uh, we may be able to do some strafing runs with our B-25s as well. We'll see how badly they get chewed up. All right, there's nothing. I'll follow this one. She's already starting to turn pretty aggressively. I'm not sure how successful this is going to be, but we're not going to call off this attack. Come on now. Bombs away, that, oh, we'll see. Lost a B-25, yeah, these were not, that was a pretty poor run. All right, get out of here. Oh man, we're losing quite a few. Get out of here. Yep. B-25s took a lot of damage there. We're not going to strafe uh, targets with them. Wow, only two survived. Yikes, that was not good. Nothing to show for it either. We didn't end up hitting, we did not hit number five. Oh well. Number six suffered a magazine explosion. Oh, that's the one that looks in, like she's in horrible shape. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well we will see. Let's check the report. Critical damage, heavy flooding. We may get another here. We'll have these B-25 circle around and uh, spot once they're out of uh, anti-aircraft range. I think this one will probably end up going down. Well, here we have it. Official confirmation, she is going down. So that is another Japanese destroyer going straight down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and retreat. There we go, one sunk, two command points gained. We did lose four aircraft in that uh, engagement, but that's okay.
Let's go ahead and RTB. We'll send all these guys back to base now. I think it's, yeah, it's around 1600 hours. So we'll get our final scouts out uh, before nightfall here. And we will continue to pursue this Japanese carrier group. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.